Hey everybody, it's Dan Wright, Wright's Pressure Washing. Back for another video, appreciate you checking the channel out. Uh, something we've uh, forgot to say a lot of is, hey, if you like our content, we got a lot more coming. Uh, hit that like button, first of all, and then subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. It really means a lot to us. Checking out our content, we're not only trying to provide content that is helpful, but that is also uh, somewhat comedic. Uh, with Justin along for the ride at 13, he uh, he comes out with some stuff. But anyway, uh, we're back at the job today. Uh, one that we did recently, we did a driveway clean. Uh, you can see the driveway here and uh, house wash. And we did some rust removal. And once we did the rust removal, uh, the client wanted us to come back and take care of some red clay mud stains. So that's what we're here today to do. Uh, I've got my water hose, uh, let's see right there, water hose hooked up, filling up the buffer tank. And uh, we're about to apply some chemical to take care of this mud stain removal. So uh, let's check that out and see what we're about to do. All right, so this home has some mud stains on it. Uh, it is a non-guttered home, as you can see. So what that leads to is especially when there's not a lot of landscaping, it leads to, as you can see right there, here in our community, Gulf Shores, Alabama, a lot of iron and clay in the dirt. So as we walk around this side, you can see all of this red clay staining again. No gutters, so the water runs right off, hits the ground, and as you can see, right now there's grass, but obviously in the past uh, there hasn't been. So we've got all these red clay stains, and we're not doing the whole house. She just wanted the, uh, see here, red clay stains. You can actually see right here, there's no, no landscaping. So that gives you a good idea. Here's another part, no landscaping. Uh, but we're not doing this whole house. She, this is a rental home, so uh, pretty bad right here. You know what, I think I'm going to, I wasn't supposed to do this part here. We're supposed to stop right there, but I'm going to do this because that's just not gonna look good if we leave that. And that's uh, it's pretty bad, so yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh, get this taken care of and we're going to apply some chemical. Uh, we'll walk right around here. I left my chemical at the front while I was talking to you guys. But you can see this, oh, this gives a good angle. Good. Yeah, so all that's gonna be gone uh, when we get done with this. And so the chemical we're gonna use is a special chemical for removing red clay stains. Uh, being in the south, pretty much anywhere in the south, I don't know the line of where clay starts in the dirt, but when you've got a Alabama company that makes soft wash and pressure washing chemicals, they've got to have in their line of products a mud remover. So here we've got Mud May Day from Southeast Soft Wash. What we're going to do, we're going to use this full strength going to put it in a pump sprayer and we're going to apply it we're going to keep it wet which is going to be a bit of a challenge uh, in the sun this is when I can work this project in not ideal for me uh, I like to do work in the shade uh, so I may start back there because the sun is moving that way and see if that helps me out but we're gonna work through it we'll get it figured out and we'll get this done so Again, about to apply the mud mayday, and let's get going. All right, so uh, we're back and we've applied the chemical. I uh, forgot to start the video when I was applying the chemical, so but we got more to do, so I'll get some more footage of that. Uh, but we've applied here, you can see that it's, uh, you can see that it's darker. It's one of the areas that we showed earlier. So uh, we're about to let it dwell just a few more minutes it says a minimum of 10 minute dwell time up to 30 minutes for stubborn i don't think this is bad enough 
to go 30 minutes, but uh, this is the first spot that we're trying right here uh, for the whole house. So I wanted to do this one and give it 10 to 15 minutes so I can get a good uh, judge or a good uh, handle on what we're dealing with with the rest of the house. So uh, I'm gonna get me a bottle of water, let this dwell, and uh, we'll get some footage and see what happens. All right, so we're back to show the results of this mud removal. You see here where all the mud was, it's gone. Uh, we'll walk around to this side because this side was the main thing that she was looking for and it's all gone. There is a little orange tint that I can see on the video, but that is just, uh, I'm not real sure why that's showing up that way. Maybe the sky in the video, but the, uh, the mud stains are gone. The customer was very happy with the, the outcome. And so uh, that's the Mud May Day, mud removal. Mud May Day from Southeast Softwash. So if you have red mud stains that you're looking to get rid of, that's the product you need. All right, till next time.